Hello astronomers myself Ranjit Kumar I am an astronomy educator with Space India in this video we are going to understand how to unbox a 50 mm refractor telescope and how to assemble it so here we have a 50 mm refractor telescope of Celestron brand so let's unbox a 50 mm refractor telescope So here we have these many parts, these many boxes. Let's open each and everything. So first I'm going to open this. So we have a tripod. So I'm going to remove the cover. I'm going to open this box now. So let's open this box. So this box has uh, erecting islands, I will tell you. What's the use of this? And this box has a optical tube. So I'm going to remove the cover from this. So we have this. I'm going to keep the erecting apparatus here. And we have this box. So this box has two different kinds of lenses. Sorry, in fact, three different kinds of lenses. So we have three different kinds of lenses and we have one optical diagonal. We have a 3x Barlow, I am not going to open this now. We have an adapter for the stand. We have a finder scope, it is a kind of a mini telescope. And we have a cloth to clean the lenses under a telescope. So these are the materials we have in the telescope and we have one more important thing. We have a CD which has a software, astronomy software. You can register the product of yours from this Celestron website and we have this manual like uh, how to use this telescope, how to assemble and some more additional information about the telescope are there in this book and we have the step by step instruction how to assemble a 50 mm refractor telescope so we have everything in this book uh, we have in a different languages so i am going to keep this aside as well so yes now we are ready with the parts so let's assemble the 50 mm refractor telescope yeah Now I am ready with the tripod. So uh, in the tripod you can see there is a rubber band. So just to remove the rubber band and then you cannot able to stretch this because there is a another band over here. So there is a band over here. Took the band up and then you can able to stretch this. So just to stretch you can stretch it and here you, ca you can see one uh, switch kind of structure. So just to open it and uh, you can uh, able to extend your tripod. So you have this uh, accessory tray. So you have to put your accessory tray over on this. So just to fix the accessory tray, we have to loosen the fastener. We have to loosen the screw. And you can see there is there are some places for the support. And then you can insert the screw and then tighten it. So now it's done. I'm going to take my eyepieces. So I have three eyepieces. So I'm going to take the eyepieces from the box. We can keep like this. So now my tripod is ready. So now take the optical tube you can see a screw so just to loosen the screw keep it aside you can see there are two holes now and you can see there are two holes here as well so we have to coincide both so you can keep it like this so once you keep like this 
just to make sure your telescope can can move to the maximum height see if i keep like in this way so i cannot be able to move my telescope above this because this this optical tube is touching with the tripod so what i have to do i have to take this out and i have to rotate like this and i have to keep like this so now you can see my telescope can i can move to maximum height so once it is done you can put the screw so now my telescope is fixed with the mount so next step what we have to do we have to take the diagonal we have to take this diagonal and in this diagonal you have to remove both the caps so loosen the screw so that you can uh, remove this cap as well and uh, i'm going to keep it aside loosen this screw as well so remove this cap as well and just insert the optical diagonal now my diagonal is fixed so next step we have to fix the finder scope so i am going to remove both the caps from the finder scope so this finder scope acts as a mini telescope this covers la larger area when compared to this telescope so you can see there are some nuts so just to remove those nuts put your put your finder scope like this yes so once this is done you can put your nuts so now i have fixed my uh, finder scope as well yes so first if you want to see an object in the night sky so first you have to find that object in the finder scope so next step what we have to do is we have to put the eye piece so we have three different kinds of eye piece one 20 mm to 12.5 mm and three 4 mm so using 20 mm we can zoom the object 30 times we can magnify the object 30 times using the 12.5 mm eye piece we can magnify 50 times the object and using the 4 mm eye piece we can magnify 150 times so the basic difference between these eye pieces we can magnify more so first i am going to use a 20 mm eye piece as it is best for the beginners so loosen the screw and then put your eye piece then tighten it so yes now my telescope is almost done so we have these two lenses one erecting eye piece and another one barlow so using this barlow you, we can increase the magnification three times if we use barlow with 20 mm eye piece then you can zoom you can magnify the objects up to 90 times if you use 12.5 mm eye piece then you can magnify up to 150 times if you use a 4 mm with the 3x barlow then we, you can zoom up to 450 times this is the role of barlow and how to put the barlow so just to remove the screw from the barlow and take out the cap from both the sides then take any of the eye piece and then put the eye piece here then you can remove this take this eye piece out and you can put like this this is how we can uh, fix the barlow with the telescope and let's coming back to the erecting eye piece so generally telescopes give us inverted view if you use a erected eye, erected lens then what will happen it will reinvert the image so we can see the actual image as we see with naked eyes so that's the role of the erecting eye piece so we can remove both the caps as we did for the barlow loosen this take this and we can put like this so this is the use of the barlow and erecting eye piece now i'm going to remove the erecting eye piece to to explain you how to use the telescope so this is all about the assembling of a telescope now let's let's understand how to point the telescope towards a particular object 
to point an object from this telescope first we have to get the object in the viewfinder so once we get the object in the viewfinder we can easily go to the eyepiece and we can get the object but for that we have to make sure that both this viewfinder and the eyepiece are aligned to check this what we have to do first point any nearest object let's say there is a one tree so just to point the tree from the telescope with the help of the eyepiece so uh, first point from this eyepiece so once it is done you have to make the same thing same tree in the center of the viewfinder as well if it is a slightly disaligned what we have to do you can see there are three screws you can loosen these three screws and you can keep one eye over here and you can slightly you can see the change as you adjust these screws you can see the changes make sure both in the eyepiece and the viewfinder the object is in center now your telescope is completely ready and it is both the viewfinder and the eyepiece are also aligned so next step we can go for the celestial objects let's say we want to observe moon so what we have to do we have to make sure that moon comes exactly in the center of the viewfinder there will be a plus symbol in the viewfinder so make sure your moon comes on the center of the viewfinder once you get moon in the center what we have to do you can go to the eyepiece then you can do minimum movement left right top bottom so once you find the moon okay you find moon but uh, it is slightly unfocused so to focus what we have to do you can see two knobs so you can just uh, just adjust this depending upon your eyepiece you can adjust the focus once you feel it is sharp and focus then that's it so this is how we can point any objects from this telescope i hope you enjoyed this demonstration thank you wish you all clear skies